say me and Scarlett, I want to do a collaboration, something like that, where I sing and she does something and how does it bounce? <laughs> you sing. <laughs> I can sing. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I couldn't help myself there. <laughs> you listen to the Gypsy Bart, not Gypsy Bart, the Pinky Pie Brew that I sang before? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's not that great, but I think I can be better. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I was just laughing at it. <laughs> uh, you laugh at me. Yeah. Sorry. Couldn't help it. Let's see how you become the host today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 21. I'm your host for today, I'm the News Pony, and joining with me is Norman Sanzo. Hello! I'm not the host for today, that's really interesting. Hey Norman, so <laughs> how was your day today? Uh, well, today is the first day of fasting for the whole month, and I have to say that, well, no difference. <laughs> no difference, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, also joining us today is our special guest, Scarlet Peace. Hi, Scarlett. Hey. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I am doing very well, thank you. Ah, all right. Anything interesting happened today? Um, well, not really, because it's still morning time, so not nothing that exciting has happened so far. <laughs> Wait, there's no Saturday morning cartoons on? Oh, yeah, besides that, exactly. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I want to watch some cartoons right now, but it's 11 p.m., so there's no cartoons. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> So anyway, Scarlett, we have four important questions before we start the show. Okay. <laughs> it's nothing that serious, but who's your favorite pony? Um, I love them all, but I think uh, my favorite would have to be Rainbow Dash. So, yeah. <laughs> mm, interesting. Why Rainbow Dash? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know why, but I, I love her the most. She cracks me up all the time, but I really don't, I, I can't pinpoint exactly what I love about her is she's just awesome. Interestingly enough, you're the second person to answer Rainbow Dash as your favorite. Really? <laughs> yeah, because usually it's going to be Twilight or Fluttershy, even Rarity, but huh, I think Pinkie Pie, there's a few Pinkie Pies, but mm, also AJ, but Rainbow Dash is one of the few that we have on the show. Cool. Okay, anyway, um, the second question is, what is your favorite episode? I have so many, but I think my very, like, the top favorite I have would probably be Hurricane Fluttershy. I really, really like that one. Yeah, I thought, um, uh, also, like, Fluttershy dealing with her insecurities and, um, Rainbow Dash helping her out and actually, uh, caring. <laughs> like, I don't know, it seemed really, I really liked that episode. That was a really good one. I like the episode, too, because of the freaky things, the eyes. Oh, my God, the eyes freaks me out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so, um, how did you become a fan of the show? Well, I, uh, followed this person on YouTube who talked about it all the time, and I always assumed she was talking about the, the old 80s version, I was, I always thought it was kind of weird that she was a fan of it, but I didn't really question it, and then I was on YouTube, and I, like, I saw a clip, and the very, very first clip I saw was when Pinkie Pie went absolutely insane in the, in the table scene at Party of One, and it cracked me up. I was laughing so much, and I was like, I need to watch this show. And I just, I looked it up, and I watched the whole thing. It was, I re yeah, so that's kind of how I got into it. Wow, well, just because of that episode. Huh. <laughs> well, people say that episode was... Good choice, good choice. <laughs> True, people say that episode was the stepping stone for their ponydom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now they have lesson zero to go through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, um, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? Um, my friends are mostly okay with it. They don't really question it because I've been a fan of lots of nerdy things like Star Wars and Doctor Who and things like that. So they don't really question it when I'm obsessed with something else, even if it is like My Little Pony. Most of my family's okay with it. Some of them are really, really confused by it and really don't get it, but they accept it. I mean, they're not, you know, like mad at me or anything for it. So I guess that's, I'm thankful for that, but some of them just really don't get it. <laughs> oh, it's understandable. It's a show for little girls. You're not little anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, at least you have the girl part for your advantage. Uh, yeah, I really. 
really do have an advantage because it's a uh, it's a lot um, less weird, I guess, for a girl. <laughs> so I got it easier that way. Uh, true, indeed. So those are my question and. Another host of ours named Daniel Anthony, he always like to ask these questions. Um, he asked, how did you get the name Scarlet Peace slash Sonic Rainbow 20? Well, I actually started my YouTube channel before I even thought about putting music on there. But um, Sonic Rainbow was the first thing that come, came to mind. And um, but, you know, it was taken. So I just added 20 for like 20 percent cooler. And then it was you know, I just put that in. If I had thought that was going to be my official music channel, I probably would have thought of something more creative. <laughs> but I just kind of put that in there, and that was the one I used. Um, for Scarlet Peace, um, one of the very first artists I heard, well, not the very first, but um, was Lavender Harmony. And I was when I was trying to think of my pony artist name, I thought of how Lavender Harmony was Lavender and then, like, harmony, and I just thought, you know, maybe to do, like, a color, and then maybe to do, a, like, a virtue or something, so I just, I got, I looked up on the internet a list of, like, color names, and a list of, like, virtues, and I randomly picked both of them, I, I, I just randomly picked Scarlet and randomly picked Peace, and it sounded really cool together, so I just, uh, went with that. I have to say, those are two randomly good choices. <laughs> Surprisingly, you end up very well, very creative. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. could have w- worked out awful, <laughs> but it ended up pretty okay. That's cool. So, um, do you have a pony sauna? Like an OC? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see it on my Tumblr. It's also my profile picture on my Twitter. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a Pegasus, and it, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I really like it. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, it's, uh, I would say, a cyan-colored Pegasus with purple eyes and um, white and yellow mane. Mm-hmm. So uh, white. how did you came up with your pony sona and the cutie mark? Well, I have sort of choppy hair, kind of like Rainbow Dash, but it's short. And so I didn't have a really long mane. I kind of made it kind of like how my haircut actually is. And uh, for the cutie mark is the comedy and tragedy faces oh. for like acting. Because I want to, I'm gonna be. I want to be an actor when I'm older. So I thought that would work. Even though I do music now, I, I I'm gonna be an actor. So. Well, you can do theater. Still doing both. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, um, let's move on to the next topic. News. What did you take over? All right, I got it. So moving on to housekeeping. First, we would like to say welcome to our new listeners, and we all hope that you enjoyed the show. For our regular listeners, thanks for coming back for more. Do shoot us an email and tell us what you want to hear about it. So, moving on to the next topic is news topic. First topic of news, Ponies will not be aired in August. Last week was the 2012 San Diego Comic Con, and during the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic panel, they gave the audience a preview of what's to come for Season 3. At the end of the preview, Maisha Vogel, Vice President of Development, yells out, Tune in next month! To confirm this, Satisto of Equestria Daily sent their heart an email asking them if it's true. Unfortunately for us, this is not true and we have to wait a bit longer. Links can be found in the show notes. So guys, what's your opinion on this delay of uh, Season 3? I can't wait. My pony fix. I need them now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to admit, I was pretty excited when I thought it was going to be next month. But, you know, it was originally going to be later on anyway, so... Yeah, anyway, before we go on about the whole thing, did anybody look at the video that was linked on EQD? Yeah, you're talking about the season 3 next month video, right? Yeah, where Zoid looked like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a look at that. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> I got no idea why, but that cracked me up. <laughs> well, in all seriousness, season 3, not August, well, I think it's fine, really. I mean, we've waited out longer, haven't we? Yeah. Anyway, Scarlett, what do you think? Because I've been talking a lot. Well, uh, I was very, very excited when I thought it was going to be starting in August. But I originally thought it was going to be in September or October anyway. So now I'm just back to what I originally thought. So I guess it's not that much longer we have to wait. But I was excited for it to be in August. But, you know, I guess I have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, I can't wait to see what happened with that musical in the intro. It's right in the spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. Go look at the video, and that musical was so awesome. The animation was 120% cooler. 
Yeah, it was really cool. I don't know what they did, but looks like they have a lot of money to put in ponies. <laughs> I would say they are stepping up the bar, you know, from season one to season two to season three. Definitely, the animation crew—they're doing their best. They're getting better with each uh, with each season. Well, well, before they probably thought that no one would even appreciate or、uh, notice how good the animation was because they probably just assumed a lot of little girls would be watching it. But ever since like season two happened and everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, look at this awesomely animated shot!" and they like examine it. They're probably like, "Hey, people are actually appreciating what we do. We should step it up a notch." You know, that's、True. that's what I think, probably. And I would agree with that. Mel said. And talking about animation and how to step it up, did you know that they had a movie made about it, Top Cat the movie, and it was popular in Mexico. Wow. Okay, that's new to me. I have no idea. Yeah. The, okay. <laughs> here's the thing: the animation was used in Flash with a hybrid of 3D. And、wow. from what I heard, reviewers say that it was bad, really bad, <laughs> and the voice、oh. acting is not that great. Yeah, I believe、uh, somebody in the fandom once said it's not about the Flash, but it's all about animation. So、uh, you see, Flash is the tool. The animators are the one who does the work, and if you can make it work and animate it well, no matter what tool you use, then the outcome will be、uh, reflected in how much work and effort you put in. True, like ponies. Even though in the first season they don't have much budget, you can tell that they love doing the show.、Mm-hmm. So from that derailment, let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> okay, Norman, do you want to take this next news topic? Sorry, I'm, I may be a bit loud here. So get to Hasbro Toy Shop now. You still can have the B. Go to it now. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> If you didn't know, you can still try and buy the exclusive Comic Con Derpy at Hasbro Toy Shop online, but be quick because Derpy is selling out like ponies at My Little Pony conventions. Okay, <laughs> um, links can be found in the show notes. Wow, I have to say this is something really unexpected. I remember them saying that you can buy it at the Hasbro Toy Shop, but I've totally forgot about it. Yeah, it's it's like I don't know. It it's so surreal. Uh, seriously, a whole derpy brushable. It's like I don't know. It's like a leap from from、um, a small reference to an actual product. Never could have seen this coming. Seriously. Well, it is. Well, it is an exclusive. But like I said, if you really want it that bad, you better get it now because they won't be selling them anymore. And I heard that a few people cheated their way to get multiple copies of derpy. Yeah, I heard that news too. Actually,、um, that's actually kind of sad. But Hasbro has been、um, doing some checking and doing things right by not letting the doubles being sold to people. Yeah, that at least already... they, they they found out about it. And yeah, Scarlett, are you getting a derpy by any chance? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I would love to have one, but I'm not sure if I'm willing to to work that hard to get it. <laughs> Because I seen on eBay the price for one derpy can go up to what fifty dollars. Yeah, I don't think I could spend that much <laughs> on a toy. And、yeah. I have been considering getting one because, like, oh, I want derpy so badly. But you have to understand when once you convert the cash, it's going to be like three hundred bucks for us. Mm-hmm.、Uh, Dang, it's crazy. Just a one ten bucks derpy, I have to spend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I why is like I said? Why couldn't I be at the cool place where all the cool stuff happens? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you have a chance to go there, but for us, <laughs> yeah, I think my chances of going there is pretty much、uh, just as much as you can go there. <laughs> well, I don't think I think we have pretty much the same chance. Well, at least you don't have to spend what one k to just to be there. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, no, no cost for flight tickets.、Uh, true. So, news. What do you think? You, you excited about? Well, not really excited, but are you sad about not getting the repeat? <laughs> Oh, I, I, as I said, I was totally shocked. Never could have seen this one coming. I'm, I guess I'm still on the fence about it. I mean, it's like kind of wanted, but not really yet, and I'm not sure whether I would really want it, kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. I mean. I mean, like, you can try because once it's up, five minutes later they're gone. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the next topic. All right. So our next topic、um, will be guest time. Yay! Yay. <laughs> our guest for this week 
is a very talented brony singer, but she's not only known for her singing, she's also known for her videos, the main six table talk series. We're proud to introduce to you, Scarlet Peace. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Scarlet Peace, we got her on. Yay! Yay! We're awesome. Scarlet, for people who don't know what you do, would you like to tell them what you do? <laughs> Okay, I am a brony musician, but I also make a comedy sketch series called Table Talk. I just do little sketches, and I do music, and I love ponies. Yay! Yay! So, Scarlett, my first question is, how do you first become interested in music? When I was uh, younger, when I was like six or seven, oh, I was was probably about eight, actually eight years old, um, I started getting guitar lessons, and I started playing guitar and learning music, and I started sort of teaching myself the piano. I mean, I, I, I'm terrible at it. I can't do anything, but I kind of learned all the notes work on the keyboard, and then I bought a music, what, what are those called? Like, the music synthesizer, what, like, uh, FL Studio, that type of thing. I don't know what it's officially called. I think they're called you know what I'm yeah, yeah, I think so, but I bought one of those. And so I started learning how to use that and make synthesized music. And I just kept doing it and practicing until I got pretty pretty okay at it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I've, been, I've been doing music for a really long time. Ah, so you're mostly self-taught. So that brings me to the other question. Uh, have you received any professional training in the music field? Besides my guitar lessons when I was very young, no, I have been teaching myself sort of. Besides, because, I, I mean, I learned how music works and what, like, different chords and how, mu- like, to read music. I can't read music anymore, but I got my basis from that, and then I just kind of learned myself from there. All right. Awesome. So, where do you draw your inspiration from? Um, sometimes when I hear a song that I really like, I think of, um, uh, I don't know, well, I listen to a lot of different kind of artists. My style, I would say... I get from artists I listen to, like Regina Spector or Ingrid Michaelson. If you listen to them, I think you could really tell that I get a lot of my inspiration from them. I listen to all types of different music and different things inspire me to do different types of songs. So basically, you just uh, take a little bit from here and there and just um, come up with songs. Is that how it is? Yeah, I mean, if I hear a song that I really like the sound of it or I really like the way they sang the lyrics or something or or the idea of it, if that kind of inspires me, well, I want to do a song like that. And then I just take little different pieces here and there in my head and work them to make them my own. And yeah, so I just get inspired from just several different things and put them together. All right. So uh, what about your theater or acting view? Uh, my table talk videos were heavily inspired by a YouTube series called The Fooplers. That's F-U-P-L-E-R-S, I think. So if you watch those, you will definitely see how I was inspired to make table talk. But yeah, I've been doing acting for a long time. I've been doing like theater and stuff and different plays growing up. Keep it up and go move to Canada. Maybe you can become a voice actor. Yeah, it's perfect world. <laughs> All right. So Norman, would you like to proceed with your line of questions? Yeah, sure. Number one is, how would you describe your music? I really don't know how what genre to put it in because some of them sound a bit different from the other ones. But I think indie music would probably describe it pretty well. I'm really bad at putting things to genres, but I think that would describe it pretty well. So it's like indie brownie music. Mm, I agree with that because I somehow get that vibe from your music because it's not electro, it's not pop, but I've heard this kind of song before from other musicians. It's I, I got no idea who they are. So I would just say they're indie because they're underground, they're not well-known, but they're mm. very popular and stuff. So that's how I would describe your music, really. Indie. Yeah, that's how it's, yeah, indie. <laughs> I was initially thinking more lines, along the lines of a unique kind of uh, music where there's no specific genre to actually put them in. But yeah, come to think of it, maybe indie sounds good. The rule for music is if there's no genre, it must be put in a genre. So people in the music place can place those CDs in the rack. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so if they can't describe their music, oh, it must be indie. Just put it in the indie aisle. <laughs> so, okay, um, besides the guitar and piano, do you play any other musical instruments? I only play guitar really well. I, I only know, like, five chords on the piano. I'm not very good at that. And not really anything else. I mean, if I pick up something, I can usually play something. It might not sound that awesome or fancy. Yeah, I only really play guitar. 
Oh, okay, because from what I heard of your music, I've heard like a lot of synth or maybe like a drum beat or something like that. So it's all synth, right? Yeah, on the software I use, you know, you have the big keyboard and you write out all the, the notes on the keyboard and then you just assign an instrument. I'm, I'm thankful I don't have to like learn every instrument I have to use in my songs. Okay, cool. And when we need a musician brony with us, he had to go to work. Mm, Emilio, why did you have to go to work today? One of our hosts is Emilio Daniels. Um, he knows a lot of music and he plays a lot of synth. And now he's gone. <laughs> uh, he oh. will be best person to ask you a lot of synth questions. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, have you considered covering other brony music? Um, I've only done one cover which I don't really like that much. I think I didn't do that well of a job. Um, but yeah, I would love to cover other artists. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I haven't really gone around to it that much. But yeah, I would love to start doing that more. So who would you like to cover first? Oh, I don't know. Um, I was thinking about this the other day. I Replacer did a song for an Earth Pony, which was really good. And I was thinking about trying to do a cover of that, but I'm not sure if I am or not. It's very interesting because if you know, if you hear replacers kind of music, it, it also falls into a unique kind of genre. I mean, there's just no way to put it. It's it stands on its own or something. Put it in yeah. the indie aisle. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was your reaction when you were invited to our show? I was flattered. <laughs> I'm still not really used to people seeing me as sort of like a someone that you would have on a show or interview or something. So I was very, very honored and, and flattered. So. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. I was too, because, well, our YouTube page only has 11 subscribers, which is sad. Oh. But it's okay, hey, no, we're, we're working our way up. We're working our way up slowly. <laughs> okay. So, I've got a few specific questions. Scarlett, uh, you're working on an element series where you feature a vocal track for each of the main six. Uh, this is true? Yes. Yep, I'm doing that. All right. I'm so, from what I've seen, you've done a track for Fluttershy, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash. So, what are mm -hmm. your plans for the rest of Main 6? I'm going to do Twilight's last, because I have a pretty epic idea for magic. And the next one, I'm probably just going to do Rarity. And then, who else do I have? I haven't done... Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I actually pretty blink on what to do for, for Rarity and Pinkie Pie. I'm still kind of working on that one. But I have a pretty vague idea what to do for Twilight, so I'm kind of working on that one, and it's going to be pretty cool, so I'm saving that one for last. But yeah, I'm doing a song for each element, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. Wow. Oh, initially, I, I, I really thought that wow, the song what, what We Have Is Magic, I initially thought that was the, the Twilight Sparkle one. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, I made that before the, the Element series. I think, I think I started that one before. But yeah, that one is just about the magic of friendship and not a Twilight uh, element, per se. Okay, cool. So, can you give us a little estimate, like, uh, how long you think that they will be completed? Just a little while now. I mean, I'm uh, not at home right now, but when I get home, I'll start working on them, and it'll probably just be a few days for me to write it, record it, and everything, and put it up. So, probably, like, around next week sometime, the next one will be coming out. Oh, wow, awesome. So, the entire process for making the song just takes a few days? Yeah, I just I write the lyrics and the music, and then I put it all together. the The writing of the music is what takes the longest, and then I and the process only takes a few days. So cool, cool. All right, I never knew yeah. that. So you did a series called The Main Six Table Song. Uh, so mm -hmm. far, I've seen there are three episodes on your YouTube channel. Uh, so what are your plans in regard to this series? If you notice, each episode kind of focuses on a certain pony. Like the first one was on Pinkie Pie, and the second one was Fluttershy, and third one. And so I'm definitely going to do an episode focusing on every pony. And I'll probably make more after that. The next one's going to be about Applejack. I'm definitely going to do six of them. And hopefully oh. I'll be able to do more. You have it all like, scheduled up already and all planned out already. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next question here. Um, you've participated in a charity album called The Seeds of Kindness, uh, organized by Bronies for Good. Would you care to share with us uh, some of your experience in working and contributing in uh, this event? Sure. I was contacted and invited to participate in the Seeds of Kindness album, and I was really, really honored and super excited to be a part of that. I worked really hard on the Moonlit Garden to make it something extra special. When it was on there, and I, uh, I felt 
very, very happy that I, I participated in doing something for good and, and helping people out. And I saw this one person commented because I put a I put a preview of the song on my channel and a link to donate to the album. And I saw this one comment that said, I bought the album so I could listen to the rest of the song. And it, that really, I don't, for some reason, that really got me because, like, that person wouldn't have given money unless I had contributed. So I really felt like I, I actually made a difference and not just put a song on an album that everyone was going to buy anyway. But I felt like, even if it was just a little bit, I, like, I don't know, I felt really special about it. And it, it was a... Uh, it was a big honor to be a part of that. Yes, I think I can understand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I should you know, go on, go on. I would just say if that made any sense. I was kind of rambling. But, oh. Uh, yeah, I was about to say that that makes perfect sense, actually, because sometimes at the end of the day, it's the little things that actually matters, you know. It's like a little comment or a, a little bit of uh, gratitude that we see. And you can detect it's really sincere, and, and, and that's all you need uh, to make you feel good. It brings a smile to your face, and it's, it's, it's a really good feeling. Yeah, or somebody emailing the show, which <laughs> nobody has done. Oh, Norman. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I just like to give a reminder to all our listeners. The song that we are talking about is called The Moonlit Garden, and uh, you can view it for free on uh, Scarlet's YouTube channel. All right. It'd also be nice if you can donate. <laughs> right. Okay. So, this question is, I think you've already answered this, but yeah, my new uh, Did you attend BronyCon? And if not, uh, why didn't you? I did not attend BronyCon because I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. I, I, I am a... Uh... I can't, I, currently I cannot afford a plane ticket and a hotel and everything in New York, but hopefully uh, the next one or the one after that, I don't know, I'll have to save up my money, but hopefully I'll be able to go to BronyCon sometime in the future, but just this last one, I just couldn't afford it. Mm, Same here, same here. What do you mean same here? We live in a different country. (laughs) It's like literally halfway around the world. Yeah, it took 11 hours for two just to be there. <laughs> I have no money. I can't get there. So it doesn't matter how like close I am. I, I have no money. Well, unless you live in New York, that's a different story. Yeah, yeah I did. All right. Okay, moving on. Uh, what's your opinion about uh, collaborative projects? I've collabed with a few people, and I would love to keep doing it. It's a lot of fun to mix styles and stuff and work with other people. I, I really like that. That's fun. All right. So, uh, out of all the people that you've collaborated with, is there any particular musician which you are collaborating, or do you like all of them? They're all great. I've only done a couple of collaborations, but all of them are fun. I did a recent one with ESP Pony, which is like more of a, a rock kind of thing, which isn't really my style, but I had fun with it. All right, that's good. It's always a good learning experience, trying out new styles and seeing how far you can tell it. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> my next question is uh, about the uh, show itself, the My, my Little Pony show. Uh, so how long do you think uh, MLP FIM would run for? Hopefully a long time because um, it has such a following and so many people are into it, they probably would work extra hard to keep it going. But it is still a show for little girls, and it's not ranked that high, just out, out of context. It's not, it wouldn't be that high on the importance scale. So I could see it. I could see it not going for very long. Hmm. Well, all right. Um, like, do you have an exact time frame, like how long you like it to run for? Like how many seasons and so forth? Hopefully several. <laughs> ten years. Go on for ten more years. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, moving on. Uh, how much pony merchandise do you currently own? I own all the little like uh, toys for the main six. I uh, own a couple T-shirts. Not very much stuff. I don't have all that uh, much merch. Oh, okay. By toys, do you, do you mean the like Toys R Us brushables, or do you mean some other custom related toys? Uh, the the brushables. Those those little cheapy ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Is there any particular toy which you would like to own? Like, like you really must have or, or any kind of... Uh, like toy. Toy. 
Oh yes. All bronies want the derpy toy, no matter how much they like it or not, because they can sell it off at a higher price later on. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's about the money. I think it's more like they feel the connection, you know. Like derpy is the mascot of, of the entire fandom, if, if I can yeah. say so. All right. Um. Oh, before MLPFIM, uh, were you in any part of uh, other fandoms? I was uh, partially a part of the Doctor Who fandom. Do you know Doctor Who? Yeah, I know. The I've yeah, I've British started watching com- it. I'm just on season one, this two. Yep. I'm that yeah. bad. So yeah, I, I was a part of that one a little bit, um, but I'm not really anymore because um, the My Little Pony fandom is way better. <laughs> were you surprised that Doctor Who is there? I was so excited about Doctor Who's. His name's Canon now, isn't it? Doctor yeah. Who. Yeah, yeah, with a yeah, with a hitch now. Hitch. Yeah, that that I really that was really cool. I really liked that. That was awesome. Uh, nobody expected him to be there. Yeah. Well, that's what happened when you have multiple fandoms. People will want to do crossovers. Yeah. I believe the My Little Pony fandom has got quite a bunch of people interested in the Doctor Who series as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think the most popular one, uh, the ones that I see keep on cropping up in EQD, is one Doctor Who is an assistant, if any of you are familiar with that um, (laughs) series thing. Oh, that's an awesome one. (laughs) Oh, yeah. The voice of uh, Ditsy Do and the Doctor. (laughs) Okay. All right. So, um, anyway, moving on. Uh, do you have a favorite brony musician or uh, artist or write- writer or basically a- any uh, um, any brony uh, uh, artist which uh, you, you 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 like? I like a lot, but I think my uh, favorite brony musician would probably be Replacer. I I like pretty much all of his songs. He's so talented. He's he's such a unique style, and I just yeah, he's probably my favorite artist. Oh, yes. Somebody okay. else who likes replacer music as well. Awesome. <laughs> well, I need to listen to this replacer because I got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you should listen to it, Norman. It's good stuff. Well, I'm going to try. And glad I'm not the host for this week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my next two questions. Um, actually, uh, if you don't mind answering, uh, what do you currently uh, work as or study? Currently... I do not have a job. I am just a student, but hopefully I will be employed soon so I can save money to go to BronyCon someday. So, so what do you currently study? Well, right now it's summer, but, you know, just the usual stuff. Oh, so you're still in high school? I'm still in high school. Yeah, I'm. a lot of people think I'm a lot older than I am, but I am only 16, so. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. Okay, um, I think that covers up all the questions. Uh I get the last one here. I've written down that, yeah, I'm a huge fan of your work and keep up the awesome, Roni. Oh, thank you so much. <sighs> okay. So I can't believe you write that down. Seriously, you write that down. Yeah, yeah. On the question yeah. page. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, Norm. <laughs> well, at least, Scarlett, you know you have a fanboy. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. So. Hey, Scarlett, um... When News asked about using your song for his 500 video thing, were you surprised? Not really. A lot of people asked to use my music for different things, but I'm very thankful because I got a lot of subscribers from that. So oh. that was really cool. <laughs> yeah, the links and stuff because people like jump from here to there and click on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was really cool. I really liked the video too. That was really, really well done. Almost had a seizure. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's actually not like, it's more like collection it's like, yeah, well, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just like a matter of sticking sticking it out and just right click save us, <laughs> right click save us. You have no it idea. It's taken a while though. Oh, uh, it's taken a long time. I think 200, <laughs> yeah, 200 days actually. That's like one, two, Whoa. three, four, five, six. Well, it's not really that big if you look at EQD every day for the draw friend stuff. Yeah. The compiling part is just the part that is going to hurt. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, uh, well, anyway, it, it was fun. Really, really enjoyed that, that little bit of uh, project. Yeah. Uh, what can I say? I, I, I like looking at pony art, so I say <laughs> a lot of what I like. And having a whole bunch of uh, pictures, being in a computer, hmm, what happens if I want to view all of them at the same time? Well, there we go. <laughs> 
Well, moving on to the next topic is email time. And today's email is from no one. No one asked nothing because we got no email. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com. Please, we need email. Like, please. And you can also reach us on Twitter. The show is at the MBS show. And I'm at Norman Sanzo. And I Newspony have doesn't Twitter. have a Twitter page. Scarlett, do you have one? Yeah. I'm Garlet Peace 20 Okay. So, yeah. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. Links will be provided in the show notes. Okay, so we've reached the end of the show. And today I learned that I'm not the very best host, but I'm learning. <laughs> so, Scarlett, uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for, for agreeing to be on the show. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I did. Thank you so much for having me here. I had a lot of fun. So, is there anything you would like to uh, shout out to our listeners? Not anything in particular. Uh, just thanks for listening. <laughs> I have something to say for you in your part. Subscribe to her. She's great. Do it. Yeah. Do it now. <laughs> Go to YouTube. Subscribe to her. <laughs> oh, wait. YouTube. Go to YouTube. Subscribe to her. Follow her on Twitter. Check out her Tumblr. All the links are found in the show notes. Scarlet, Scarlet. Do you have any questions for us? Not that I can think of, but uh, um, I'm super honored that you had me here, and uh, I don't think I have anything to ask you in particular. Uh, Very happy to have you here as well. Hope you can okay. drop by again pretty soon or later. Yeah, I- I'd be up for that. Ooh, maybe we should do a collab. I can sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Norman. Yeah, you can sing, all right. So, News, you want to end the show or something? We can okay. go on. I don't mind talking. Okay, uh, yeah. Mm. Well, looks like we've reached the end of the show. I've been your host for today. I'm the News Pony. And I've been Norman Sanzo. Scarlet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm Scarlet Peace. Okay, so that's it for today's show. Hope you guys enjoy. And we hope to see you next time. Bye. 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 We could save the world a thousand times.
Oh, sorry, I'm not good at this. <laughs> you think you're not good? I'm still trying to figure out how to do this thing. Oh, come on. Yeah, you're 120% much better at this. This is like my first time. I'm 120% better, but I'm also 120% forgetful. <laughs> okay, all right.